On a day like this, it's only natural for them to think about the beginning when they arrived on a campus with so much history, joining a team with so much tradition. On senior day, it's only fitting for them to look back. Here we are, coming up on my last home game. You know, the time has come, but you know, I'm scared, but I'm, I'm excited. It's all a blur, it happens so fast. It's something that's really hard to put into words. You have a hard time describing to people who haven't gone through it. No, you're not alone. Cause I'm gonna make this place yours. There's no other feeling like running out of that tunnel. Um, there's no other feeling like it when I ran out of it the first time. Here come the Irish! I was very petrified being surrounded with all these great players. It was nerve-wracking. You know what you can do, I know what you can do. This group has gone through a lot of adversity, but I can say that it definitely helped me grow into a, a better person and, and it really developed me into a man. Every class at every school has a story. But this group of boys transformed into men at this university in this program have crafted a remarkable tale. From freshmen on a team in transition, to seniors with a shot at perfection. Taylor, he stopped! Notre Dame wins! Nelson goes the other way across the middle, picked off by Teo. Iris go to the run and break it! In open field, heading for the end zone is Sierra Wood. Goodbye, good night, he's in! Notre Dame somehow, someway, finds a way to win again. It's senior day in South Bend. They'll take the field thinking about how far they've come, but then look ahead once more to the perfect ending that's beckoning. It is senior day at Notre Dame Stadium. A beautiful fall afternoon as the seniors and their parents are introduced to the sellout crowd. Here at the stadium as we join public address announcer Mike Collins. Your center from Granger, Indiana, with a degree in psychology. He's in grad studies, meeting Kim and Rick Cave, number 52, Braxton Cave. Braxton Cave, who grew up locally, Penn High School. He said uh, he dreamed of coming to Notre Dame all his life. A wide receiver from Laie, Hawaii, majoring in film, television, and theater, in arts and letters, reading Ross and Tammy Toma, number nine, Robbie Toma. Robbie, best friends with Manti Teo. They grew up just a few houses apart, went to the same high school. Everyone said he was a throw in in the Manti Teo deal. Not so. He has proven his credentials here at Notre Dame. A safety from Vero Beach, Florida, studying industrial design in arts and letters, meeting Bill and sister Elisa Mata, number 17, Zeke Mata. Zeke Mata at safety with all the injuries in the secondary with the sledgehammer, and he has delivered the sledgehammer on occasion. He has held that secondary together on that top-ranked defense. Good job. A running back from Manville, New Jersey. He studies in film, television, and theater in arts and letters. And meeting his mom, Celeste, number six, Theo Reddick. Theo, who has played both running back and wide receiver during his career, the very versatile player and the first in his family to earn a college degree. And now, your 2012 captain. Offensive tackle from Indianapolis. His major is management consulting in the Mendoza College of Business. Meeting Pam and Keith Martin, number 70, Zach Martin. Zach at that all-important left tackle position has anchored the offensive line. And growing up in Indianapolis, he knew about the lore of Notre Dame. He's lived up to all the expectations here. A captain in this final season, his senior season. A defensive end from Weatherford, Texas. He already has his degree in marketing. He's in graduate studies. Joining his mother, Juana Lewis, it's super fan number 89, Catherine Lewis Moore. Old man Cappy, they call him. He has been a steadying influence on that defensive line. He originally committed to Texas A&M. His mom, Juana, with him there. She said, people from all over the country want to go to Notre Dame. They want the best. They want you. That's where you need to go. 
your sturdy tight end from Fort Wayne, studying management consulting in the Mendoza College of Business, hitting Julian Gray Eifert, number 80, Tyler Eifert. At a school that has produced so many sterling tight ends, he may be the best ever. Mantai Teo, Mike Collins with a, a phrase in Hawaiian that means special son, embracing his parents. This is it. This is the moment. This was the moment that he said he wanted to experience. That's why he came back for this final season. And now, here come the Irish.